I should not have to travel to Paris to see Ms. Rajavi. She should be able to come to Washington to speak to the... The American people need to hear her voice and your voices and the voices of the oppressed in Camp Ashraf and those who fight for freedom inside Iran. Let us be very clear. Some would have you believe that this is merely a political disagreement that the U.S. has with the current regime in Tehran. It is much more fundamental than a mere political disagreement. As you've heard today, Iran remains the single largest funder and state sponsor of terrorism in the world. Let it be known, there is no greater threat to freedom-loving democracies around the world than nuclear weapons in the hands of a, a sponsor of terrorism. Now, you will not be surprised. I would like to address directly, uh, if briefly, the situation and those in Camp Ashraf. You know, where today as we sit here this evening, those who are charged in the Iraqi government with protecting, protecting Camp Ashraf are those who in July of 2009 were responsible for the incursion, the beating, the maiming, and the killing. They're not protecting them, and let's be honest about that. Tom Ridge made a demand made a plea to Prime Minister Maliki, I actually think we can make that stronger. So let me say this to Prime Minister Maliki.